Welcome back to the Hit Bombs YouTube channel. We got a special video today. We are going to do an off season workout. I get asked a lot how my training looks. And remember, if you saw the other video we did, we like to implement a concept called stacking stress. Stacking stress. Wanting to keep the high days high and very intense, low days low, really more recovery focused. We can structure your training week to maximize those high stress days and then give you time to actually recover so that you can get more out of those training sessions. So basically, I went through a hitting session earlier today. We did 120 balls all out, took a little break, and now we're going to hit legs. I'm not gonna lie to you, it kinda sucks. Ultimately, doing the combination of both allows me to recover faster and get ready for my next speed session, which is gonna be on Thursday. Today is Monday. So let's get to it. We'll see you on the other side. Started the work off with some pogos. We always like to build some explosive movements earlier into the workout up and down, forward and backward. And then I was also supposed to do some louder ones, but my knee was a little sore, so I skipped those today. Rear foot elevated split squat, hands down my favorite lower body strength exercise. One, I don't have to load my spine. Two, we could go fairly heavy with it. And three, I could add a little rotation at the bottom to incorporate some spiraling of that hip. We had a nice superset going here with some lumbar lock Tat and Campbells. Uh, by kneeling, it helped lock out my lower body and really force that flexion and extension higher up on my spine. These felt really good. Next up is a single leg RDL using a landmine. Now, the reason I like these is I can load the RDL motion up, so it's gonna test my grip strength. Um, and then the other reason is I can add a little bit of rotation at the bottom. Once again, emphasizing that spiraling motion that I talked about earlier. For me, this feels a lot better on how I'm loading and unloading that glute. Lateral bear crawl, in the bear position, I try to feel like my belly button's pulled back, hollowing out my core, engaging my core, and then from that neutral spine position, I'm trying to feel like I'm driving through the ground with my hands. This is going to really emphasize scap protraction, so making sure the scaps wrap around the rib cage. Uh, for me, that always tends to be a sticking point, and these help a lot. And our last superset of this workout is gonna start with the lunge payload press. So the side I'm sitting into, I really try to focus on getting deep. Uh, it's gonna help open up that hip capsule. And you can tell my mobility is not great on these, especially through the ankle, as there is a lack of depth present. And then obviously we're pressing the cable out. There's 70 pounds on this, so we're adding the element of the core for me. It helps keep my core firing and helps me keep awareness of how I want to engage my core at the setup. Split stance rotational chop is a movement that has really grown on me. The thing I like about it is once you reach and range, the spine is being pulled into flexion so the rib cage is down. This is something we want to see for most of the backswing and this is a great way to build that awareness. Last but not least, we finish this workout with some sprints. Now, I typically like to do this on a treadmill with it turned up all the way. Uh, the thing about sprinting is it is hard on the central nervous system, so it could affect recovery. But for me, uh, this is more about just getting my heart rate up. I do have two young kids, so I wanna make sure that I can chase them around the yard and not be out of breath. All right, guys, we did it. That was uh, my hardest day of the week. We hit in the morning. We got our lower body workout in at night. Need to consume a lot of water, eat a lot of calories today. And then tomorrow's gonna be fairly light. So we're gonna do basically just an upper body lift and maybe some light sequencing work. The following day is gonna be an off day. And then the next day after that, we get to do that all again. If you wanna give this workout a go, consult your physician, consult your trainer, consult your mom, uh, whoever you wanna consult, make sure that you can actually do this workout. And if you wanna get on one of our programs, head over to hipbombs.com. We have a strength and conditioning program on there that is periodized, so it's gonna fluctuate depending on the time of year it is. One thing that I've learned in my personal training is you can't do the same thing the entire year. It's not good for speed, so check that out. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see more content like this, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and notification bell, and leave a comment below. I appreciate all the support. Hitbombs.com, baby. Let's go.